Thank you, Candice. Um, thanks, Mostar and saint for reanimating this discussion on Menschen mit Nazi-Hintergrund. I was asking myself, how can it be that this term upset so many people? How did so many people feel so personally attacked by it? And I think besides the kind of racist undercurrent that, um, you know, how dare two people from immigrant families to question the material continuities of the Nazi regime to today, um, besides that, I think the word Nazi is very inflected with um, guilt and for good reasons because, you know, as Germans, our forefathers or foremothers were either committing or complicit to um, or at least implicated in one of the biggest crimes in human history. So guilt is the right kind of legal and maybe also sociological category at the time. But I do believe that when we speak about our role as Germans in the second, third, fourth generation, it might be somewhat more fruitful um, or productive to speak of responsibility. Why? <clears throat> I think, you know, we know this from personal relationships, and I think it translates to some extent also to political and societal questions that um, guilt is not maybe always the best concept to facilitate change, to facilitate progress. Um, now, how can this responsibility look like? Mm, if I had a clear-cut answer for this, I would give it, but it would still be presumptuous, so I'm not gonna try to give that one answer. But I can say how it should not look like in my eyes. I think that when you look at even right now, the most sort of um, current um, events of our time, say in the Middle East, in Israel-Palestine, we see that many Germans understand their own responsibility as um, Nachkom of, um, the Holo of, of perpetrators in the Holocaust. They see that, they identify it by uh, unquestioned support with a right-wing Israeli government, I think that is not how this type of responsibility should look like. I think that's a way too unflexible and, again, formalistic approach to historical responsibility. I think, if anything, we should try to, especially in Germany, as Germans, um, see the seeds of growing anti-Semitism of growing racism, of um, growing nationalism, <clears throat> see the seeds what drove that regime at the time that are again today, you know, um, having a kind of renaissance and uh, criticize them and, uh, you know, shed light to them where they gain power. I think that is a historical responsibility, if anything. Um, Another aspect that I find <clears throat> curious about this discussion is, you know, my parents' generation already were actively implicated in this discussion, this so-called 68 generation. They were famous for this line that I personally learned from a school textbook um, that said, Unter den Talern der Muff von tausend Jahren, meaning that there was an institutional kind of heritage the, of the Nazi regime that uh, lived on. Um, and I think the move of that generation was to kind of point outwards um, and point the finger and say, hey, you guys um, were active in the Nazi regime. Now you are still in power. How can it be? Or what is, you know, uh, what is the issue here? I think maybe we should look at that time and like ask ourselves, maybe we today, you know, need to point inwards and uh, ask ourselves how is our personal implication in that time affecting what we do today. And this is a kind of abstract way of saying it. You know, we, can, we it's hard to generalize those things, but um, I think it's important to make this discussion personal. And um, I mean that in a way, not just by <clears throat> being truthful, again, truth as in I can say I am a third-generation German, thus 
I have historical responsibility to deal with the Holocaust and draw consequences. That is a true thing. But then there is always truth and then there is honesty. I think honesty is different in the way that it requires an audience. And so I would ask myself, we need to, how can we honestly sort of ask ourselves, how am I implicated in, in this discussion? And who am I implicating in this discussion? Um, and as you know, the debate around Menschmann Nazi to Grund that um, Mushtari and Sintujan raised um, also included questions of, you know, um, different kind of German uh, realities. You know, there, there are today there are many Germans from different backgrounds that um, they bring different kind of trauma and different kind of like experiences to this country. And I think like this country is becoming a more diverse. Um, nonetheless, they, it doesn't mean that they do not have a responsibility to, to um, carry on and question what that heritage of that specific history means. I do think you guys have it just as I have it, but in definitely a different manner. Um, so, yes, I'm very thankful that you brought this up and I'm very curious how this discussion will develop in the future. And I very much hope that even if the term Menschen mit Nazi Hintergrund um, will, let's see, whether it picks up in sort of mainstream discussions or whether it doesn't pick up, I would hope that um, a lot of the thoughts that um, several people had, not only in TAG, but also outside of TAG, um, around that term would carry into our future discourse of how we speak about this issue.